couple of gay projects trying to kick off the new year for us. Uh, the first one is the Citizens Data Academy. That is a um, six-week class, we'll say, and we're going to try to teach people how to better use open data portals, ordinary citizens, not just techies. Um, the second project is the Green Stem Project, or I take the one here, that's an IoT garden sensor. We're going to deploy in urban gardens around uh, Raleigh. So those are my two projects that we're getting. Probably not going to use a data jam, but we'll see how it goes. Well, I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'm Eric Jackson from Code for Actual. This is not part of the JPA brand uh, competition. We put together uh, a London County Reentry Resources Hub. Um, it's for folks who are coming out of prison who are looking for resources and for the service providers who are helping them find those resources. Uh, we're working with a local group. And one of the things that we figured out, this is not a super complicated project. It's a website. Um, and it's really easy to convert it for your county. So if you would like to come over and create a reentry resources site for your county in North Carolina, uh, come see us. Awesome. Uh, just hang on. Just hang on to your sheet. Hello, I'm Dan and my dad, and we're in the audience. We are in the opening the competition. We are going to take up school, getting your kids to school, not spending so much money on buses. And we will be somewhere on the wall. We'll tell you more on the way. What's the project called? Take out to school. Great. Awesome. Good job. Got that phone. <laughs> uh, my name is Suzanne. I live in the town of Wake Forest. And, you know, as everybody was talking about the various data portals for their town, it's like, oh, I wonder what we have in Wake Forest. And guess what? We don't have anything. So my project is creating a catalog of open data, create the phones of open data in Wake Forest. All right. My name is Bill Scanlon. For those who have been here a couple of days, I apologize for mentioning this again, but uh, I see enough new faces to mention it. NC Food Inspector is the name of our project. Uh, it comes out of Code for Norm. There's actually going to be a code sprint today to take Wake County data and bring it into NC Food Inspector. But for right now, what I'm pitching is actually to take NC Food Inspector to the next generation, which is to take it from just the number inspection and the violations and shows restaurant inspections and violations uh, be for dorm and for wake. We want to take that and go beyond just the number and the uh, codes and show what's called CDC risk factor data. It shows what will actually get you sick in those violations. So that's the project. To advance that, we need developers and people who would use the tool to test. So I'm Jason Marshall, uh, Code for Greensboro. Uh, my project's called our project's called Good to Go GSO. So I ask a quick question. Who's ever rolled up to the polls on election day? And you know, you, you may know who you're going to vote for for city council or uh, the president or whatever. But um, so you, you get to the page, and there are these bonds on the, on the vote that you didn't know about, or these judges, and I have no idea who they are. Who's, who's that ever happened to? OK, yeah, I didn't think I was the only one. So we want to try to find a creative way to fix that with a one-stop shop to um, allow citizens to get that information quickly and easily, and also uh, to navigate any issues they might have prior to election day with uh, getting their uh, registration sorted. So I'm Jeremy Freeman with Code for Girl. I'm working on the NC School Monitor. It's a new program in Data Jam. Um, if you've looked at the school grades, it's not K through 12, and A, and B, and F. Uh, there's actually a rich amount of data behind that. that now, if you want to look at it, you'll have a PDF file on the front of the website. You have a really good way of seeing how things change over time or understanding what's going on. So, if you like to visualize data, if you want to help you do that, if you like school data, if you want to help you do that, that's developed in the background, if you're just interested in making school a better place and more accessible data, please come join us. Hello, I'm Jeff Hoffman. I'm the Code for Girl Data Jam and hopefully Palooza team. Uh, our project over easy will be about uh, incredibly simple spatial joints and visualization, which the goal is to take a bite out of the problem of access and consumption of all this open data that's available. So we'll be creating a point and click tool that lets you easily 
uh, intersect different feature layers to create a usable report. Uh, hey, good morning. I'm Joe Schramm. I'm here with Vacant to Vital. Uh, this is a project we've been working on to look at all the empty and vacant lots in Wake County that are not being used for very much and start looking at what can be used for urban farming and for uh, urban gardening. And we're actually sitting right now, some of you may not know, really close to an awesome success project, which is Raleigh City Farm, right over this way. So we took Raleigh City Farm two years ago as the base, and we went around and started, we started interviewing landowners, we started talking to people who would want to do urban farming, and what we realized is that we needed to facilitate a marketplace between these two groups. So we created Bacon to Vital. Um, we're on Twitter at Bacon to Vital on the web, Bacon to the number two vital.org, to basically create a place for people who have land and people who want to do cool things with the land to get together. We need developers. Thanks. Y'all come stop by. 